Yes, sir. We're officially back at it. This is Bug Nice coming at you with a quickie overview of the Mezco Toys 112 Collective PX Previews Exclusive Cyclops figure. Let's do it. This ain't for no scalper. You a scalper? Then fuck out shit. This one for them real collectors. That's army building and posing figures. Marvel Legends. Imports. Many maybe the I'm fucking with. Heights beast we know about. You stay so normally with the PX previews, they are in the tin box. So no difference here. See it says Cyclops, you may see me in the reflection and the camera. Mescotoys.com, Cyclops again. And some pictures of the figure on the back. So let's get this bad boy open and see what's what. All right, here we go. Mezco's second Cyclops offering. Their first was a Jim Lee style Cyclops, which I was not really a big fan of. To be honest, I'm not really a big fan of this guy either. The only reason I picked up both uh, Cyclops figures is to do a little kit bash and, and put together uh, a sort of plain clothes version of Cyclops to go along with my Logan figure. Uh, for Mesco. So we'll get to that. We'll do some comparisons. I will say that this one is is okay. He he moves uh, pretty nicely uh, considering that he's fully clothed in this sort of patent leather and mesh mix. I didn't really like either head sculpt, the masked head sculpt on either one of these figures to be honest. And you know, I'm, all, I'm perfectly fine with my Legends version that I'll be able to move around and mess with and not worry about anything tearing or coming coming out of whack, getting discombobulated. So yeah, let's go over his accessories real quick. Two fists out of the package. He has an additional right hand, which is open with the fingers close together and his thumb tucked in. And then a left hand with his pointer finger and middle finger together. And obviously this will be utilized to kind of put his hand next to his visor. So it looks like he's blasting with these two. And then he's got a set that are both open with the fingers slightly spread. And either one of these could be utilized for holding different objects or for grasping, uh, for clutching, you know, if he's climbing up rocks or whatever you have him doing. Uh, and these are fine. Switching all of the hands out was no issue. And just giving you a close look at the outfit, you can see the belt. Which I thought, oh it is, okay it is a modular piece so you can kind of push that down around his waist so that looks good. You can see the X logo there, the yellow and blue, it's just pretty much yellow and blue, no other colors. And um, I'm not going to go too deep into articulation but the arms do get up pretty far and you can almost do a full 360 before you stress the material. He does have a little bit of ab crunch going forward back, he can turn, the legs come up just about that far. Uh, Split looks like that. Obviously, you don't want to stress that. The uh, shorts uh, here look like a separate part over the uh, patent leather and mesh pants or onesie. Uh, he does have rotation here at the upper boot. There's a decent hinge and a pivot on the foot. Double jointed knees and elbows. So it's decent articulation aside from the head. Obviously, the light up feature is here in the head. Uh, so he doesn't get the best range of motion in order for you to get this going. You have to take the head off and then, yeah, you got to actually twist this to the right and then you pull this up and you can see the on and off switch there and you open this up and put the batteries in there and then you can do your thing as far as the light up feature goes. So you got to slip the batteries into these little grooves here, which is not really easy, especially if you have really big like sausage fingers. So sorry for you if you do. Uh, these batteries are getting smaller and smaller, but it is a... Uh, a cool uh, design and a good way to hide it and make everything work so let's see if it actually does work all right I put that back on all right we got action and of course the lights is on so you can't really see Just knock these down there you go you get the gist but uh, these um, visor plates just kind of slip out and then you've got a couple interchangeable visors there's my daughter coughing is that I'm not spending too much time on this to be honest uh, this is actually the first time that I even mess with this feature when I got the first version I didn't even do this at all because again I was just waiting for this guy to come out so I can uh, mess around with the unmasked head that comes with this version and the coat that came with the other version the leather bomber uh, you do get the same exact accessories with both Cyclops figures so three sets of interchangeable hands um three different five different visors the two large blasts or the one large blast the smaller smaller blast uh the two visors where it's got like energy emitting and then um 
So two different masked heads with each version. The uh, Jim Lee version had like a screaming face. This one, he's kind of like gritting his teeth. So you can see that. Uh, but to me, the main attraction... Oh, why is this not staying in there? Well, yeah, the main attraction with this was the unmasked head, in my opinion. So you get that, and then you actually get um, some shades here, some ruby quartz. His ruby quartz visor. And, you know, that... Makes for some nice playability, for sure. The light-up feature seems to be working fine. But, again, I didn't care about this body at all. And I do have both of them here. You can see them side by side. And, in my opinion, these are whack. <laughs> I just really don't care about this whole cloth clothing thing for Cyclops. I just don't know that it works for somebody that's fully clothed in like a onesie spider-man cyclops wolverine it just doesn't translate as well as it does with other sort of like plain clothes characters in my opinion you know logan punisher and uh the netflix punisher and what have you um but you know to each day on all right so again i went through all of this buying two 90 dollar figures just for two parts or one part from each figure so the Cyclops on the left, which is the Jim Lee version, came with this leather bomber. And the Cyclops on the right, which is sort of like an 80s old school uh, version, came with the unmasked head and the ruby quartz glasses. And I wanted to put together a uh, plain clothes uh, Cyclops. So I utilized the body from the, um, from the Stealth Ops Gomez, which is probably one of Mezco's best bodies. It's a slender buck. I think it fits Cyclops well. Although you do see Cyclops here looking a little more buff than this body, uh, it'll still work in my opinion. And so I put the leather bomber on the Gomez body here. And this is the body that they should have used for the Netflix Punisher. Unfortunately, they did not. Now, my only issue is that the head does not pop on there like I thought it would. So I think that I'm going to have to pop out this neck peg and just kind of sit the head on there so it looks looks good. But let me find him some hands, too. I'm liking the way that looks for a nice, slender Cyclops. There you go. There's a look at that. So got me a little plain clothes Cyclops. Oops, I didn't... um. I didn't put, pop the neck peg out yet. I'm still a little hesitant about whether or not I want to do that. I don't know. I want to. I want to, I want to see how it really fits on there. Um, but I do like the way he looks side by side here with Logan. I think that's all right. You know, Logan's short and stocky. Cyclops is tall and slender. So, you know, obviously the body could be a bit more buff just to kind of match this. But height-wise... It's there. You know, this is a form-fitting outfit where it would show his musculature a little bit more, but, you know, you could finesse it. I like this a lot. I really do want to pop this, uh, this head off. Let's see what's what. I don't know. Pop the neck peg off, excuse me. There's a few quick size comparisons. I recently got the uh, cable here on the far left. I had took some pics with uh, Cable and Deadpool on the far right there, but you can see how all of those kind of stack up. I do think Cable could have actually been a little larger, a little buffer, but as it is right now, as it stands right now with these sort of versions of the characters, I think this all looks pretty decent. All right, I got to get out of here. Look for me to go ahead and pop this neck peg out and get some displays going in the next 24 to 48 hours. But thanks for hanging out. As always, rate, comment, and subscribe. And until next time. Peace.